Sorry, my brother. Sorry, my sister. It's the fallout. Uh, the persistent widow, she easily could have turned around. But she said, you know what? I want something so bad. I'm not taking no for an answer whatsoever. So what did she do? She put action behind her faith. And once she put action behind her faith, the judge say, I got to go ahead and bless her because she's going to wear me out. Then if you go to the end, the end verse of that text in verse 7, that's the most important part. Jesus said, if you do not give up, on praying, if you don't give up on believing, if you put action behind your prayer, if you put action behind your belief, he said, I will grant you justice. That was Jesus telling every last one of us right now today, that he will do that for you. But the only that you're going to receive justice, you got to put action behind your faith. Without that, Jesus can't do anything with it, my sisters. Without that, Jesus can't do anything with it, my brothers. Look at Job. Job put action behind his faith. Even though the devil tried to do whatever he could to destroy him, to break him down, even his wife, even his friend, everybody. But what did Jacob do? Jacob put action behind his faith. And once Jacob put action behind his faith, God bless more twice as much than he had in the first beginning. So what they had, they, what, what, they, what did they have? What you didn't have. They had action behind their faith. What you have is dead faith. That's what they had. The only way that God can move in your life, you got to do the number one thing. You got to have a requirement. And that, and that requirement of you is putting up what you need to put up. If you're not putting up nothing, it's not going to happen. You're going to be stuck right there in the same situation. I'm telling you now how it is. Look at that woman that bled for 12 years. She was way, way back there in the back. What did she do? She put her action to the test because she wanted to stop that bleed. She wanted to be healed. And the thing about it, she didn't even grab you. She just barely touched him. And God said, Jesus, who touched me like that? And the 12 disciples said, well, Jesus, everyone touched me. He said, oh, someone touched me like they meant it. Someone touched me because they had action behind it. Someone touched me because they wanted me to do something. And well, Jesus turned around. And he saw that woman right there. Out of millions of people, he said, woman, you are healed right then and now. What did she do? She had action behind her faith. That's why she got healed. That's why she got blessed. That's why. And I'm getting to somebody right now today. Who is God speaking to right now today? Because God is speaking to somebody right now today. Faith requires action. Without action, there's no faith. Without faith, without action in that faith, God can't do nothing to you. Faith without work is dead. Am I making myself clear to somebody right now today? Because someone need to know that. You'll never know how sweet your water is. You'll never know how clear your water is if you don't know, if you don't throw deep. What I mean by throwing deep mean you throwing out there. You putting something out there in the universe. You don't know how it's gonna work, but you're trusting it. 100% that you are putting action behind it. And the more that you throw deep out in that water, your water becomes sweet. And when your water becomes sweet, then that you'll be able to see things more clear. You will have your vision that what God is showing you right now today. Right now, someone is throwing deep. Right now, someone has sweet water. Right now, someone can see clear exactly what's about to come to them. Right now, a lot of you right now today, you walking in bitter water right now. Your faith is in bitter water. And what I mean that your faith is in bitter water because you're expecting God to do everything for you. And right now, yo, you just have faith. But you don't have no action behind that faith. And we don't have action behind that faith automatically. You're sitting in bitter water. Take Peter for an example. Peter was an experienced fisherman. He's out there just fishing. Wow. 
They're storing this rod out there. They're storing this rod out there. And for a long time, Peter didn't catch anything. And Jesus, way back there in the bank, and he saw him. He said, here it is, this experienced fisherman, and he's right here in beard of water. He's been in here all day, all night, and still haven't caught nothing. Then all of a sudden, Jesus got Peter's attention. He said, hey, Peter, have you caught anything? Peter said, no. At this time, Peter got so mad and frustrated, he's about to, he was bringing his nets in, washing his nets, about to bring his rod in because he began frustrated because he didn't catch anything. And the reason why Peter didn't catch anything because Peter was in bitter water. He was not in sweet water at all. So Jesus said, well, if you throw your rod deep out there, Jesus said, I got the fish for you. I'm going to hold enough for you. So what did Peter do? Instead of Peter washing, stop washing his nets and put it right, he said, you know what? Let me throw deep. And once Peter threw deep, Peter holding so much fish that his boat was more than enough. What did he do? He put action behind his faith. That's why he was able to hold so much fish in his boat and his boat did not sink because God said, the only way that you're going to catch the fish, you're going to have to throw deep because the fish, the blessing, the breakthrough, the anointing, the business deal, the ministry deals, the breakthrough, the open doors, Jesus said, is out there in the deep water. He said, it's out there in the sweet water and that's where the fish is at. The fish don't want to be in the bitter water because the bitter water, there's no food there. But in the sweet water, that's where the food is. That's where the miracle is. That's where the blessings is. That's where the breakthrough is. That's where the healing is. That's where the anointing is. That's where the living is. And the armor that you're going to receive that, you going to have to throw deep. That's the armor you're going to see it. That's the armor that you're going to receive it. So what you going to do today? My brothers, what are you going to do today, my sisters? Are you going to continue to sit right there in the bitter water? Or are you going to sit there and you're going to throw deep where the sweet water is? One thing I know about that sweet water, you're going to have a clear vision of everything that you ask for, everything that you pray for. Not only that you're going to have the frame, you're also going to have the picture. And you're going to be able to see inside the picture. You're going to be able to see everything so clear. You're going to know that you got 20-20 vision. That's the only way that God, Jesus, was able to tell Peter, say, I got 20 and 20 beans. I know what a fish is. I know what you want. But the only way that you're going to get it, you're going to throw deep. It's a difference. Bitter water and sweet water. Sweet water is where everything is. The bitter water is nothing there at all. And a lot of you right now today, that was exactly where you at. You right there in the bitter water. How long are you going to continue to sit right there in the bitter water. Because as long as you sit right there in the bitter water, God ain't going to do nothing. God is not going to move in that bitter water at all. Faith requires action. Are you willing to put up some action right now today? Are you willing to talk the talk and walk the walk? Are you willing to go deep right now today? Is my point to somebody right now today. What do you have where I don't have? What I have, I have action behind my faith. Jesus lent me this ministry. He lent me this platform. And once I start, once I start throwing deep, automatically this ministry to me, it got serious to me. It wasn't no more talking about me. It wasn't no more playing in the part of me. It got serious with me because when it got serious, man, me, I would use my own money. Money I really didn't even have to use. But once I dug in my pocket, and I started spending it on Jesus' ministry. He said, you know what? Minister LT is getting serious. Right now, Minister LT is drawing deep out there in the, in the sweet water. And Jesus said, Minister LT, I got the fish. I got the ministry deals. I got the endorsement deals. I got the sponsors. I got the help. I got the right connection. I got the right resources. Because right now, one thing I know about you is because you are putting action behind your faith. Even though, you don't, even though that you don't see a way, even though that you don't know a way, but what I can do for you right now today, son, I got to help you because you are putting action behind your faith. You are throwing deep 
even though you don't know where the fishes are, but you are still throwing deep because no longer you're in the bitter water anymore. But now you are throwing woo out there in the sweet water right now because you are putting action behind your faith. And that's what I'm doing right now today. I am putting up, I'm putting action behind my faith. Not only am I talking the talk, I'm also walking the walk. This ministry ain't no playground to me. I take this ministry dead serious and I let Jesus know, Jesus, I'm serious about this. And he knows that I'm serious because if he didn't know I was serious, he still wouldn't allow me to continue to do what I'm doing. He knew it was going to get to a point that I was going to be serious with it or I wasn't. And once he knows I got serious with it, he said, now I got to help you. Now I got to do something that you can't do on your own. Now I got the connection I got to connect you with. Now I got to give you the resources so I can resource you with. Because while you're throwing deep, I got everything that you need. Because I know one thing for sure that you ain't playing. Jacob wasn't playing. The persistent widow wasn't playing. The Canaanite woman wasn't playing. Job wasn't playing. Was they? Peter wasn't playing neither. Peter easily could have, like I say, he easily could have packed this rod in his neck and said, you know what, Jesus? Yeah, I hear you, but I've been in here all day long, and I still ain't caught that. But Peter said, oh, I'm going to throw deep because Jesus said the fishes are out there. If Jesus is telling you right now today that the fishes are out there in the sweet, in the sweet water, you need to throw your rod out there right now today. And what is that rod he's talking about? That rod is called faith, and that faith is action on that rod, it's on that string, and that's what the fishes want. And when you got action behind that rod, the fish gonna bite every single time, my brother. The fish gonna bite every time, my sisters. Get ready because God is about to do something new in your life. Get ready because a blessing is about to come in your life. Get ready, a breakthrough is about to come in your life. Get ready, a shift is about to come in your life. Get ready, open doors about to come in your life. Get ready, blessings and everything about to come in your life. Get ready, a double portion about to come in your life. Get ready, more than enough is about to come in your life. Get ready, about the rain manner in your life right now today get ready God is about to show up and show up right now in your life because you have action behind your faith give Jesus some praise right now in the house of the Lord if you have action behind your faith because that's what faith requires action that was exactly what it requires amen amen I hope that this word and I hope that this message is helpful to us about today. And my brother, my sister, I want y'all to listen to both parts. The first part, I was getting good, then the phone cut off. And I wasn't going to sit there and leave y'all dry like that. God said, oh, no, you don't. You continue to preach this sermon. So that's why it's two parts. Y'all need to listen to both parts. Because both parts, God is talking to somebody. God said, I can't move if you're still in that beard of water. He said, I can't do nothing with that. He said, what do you have? That what minister LT don't have. He said, what do you have that Jacob didn't have, that Job didn't have, that persistent widow didn't have, that um, the woman that bled for 12 years didn't have? What they had was action. What you have is bare water. And God said, I can't do nothing with that. He said, get out of the bed of water and throw, and throw deep out there in the sweet water. And don't get mad if you throw deep one or two times or five or six times you still ain't, and you still ain't caught the fish yet. Get ready. God said, I'm still holding the fish. This is what he did, Peter. He holding up the guts so when he, when he gave you the fish. It's going to be more than one fish. It's going to be more than enough fish. Just like he, he did, Peter. Just think about when Peter threw that rod out there. Peter didn't bring, didn't catch the fish on the first throw. He just threw the rod out there. And as he threw the rod out there, God was bringing the fish to that rod. And why would God bring the fish to that rod? Because it was action in that rod. It was action in that faith. So get ready, my brothers. Get ready, my sisters. Because God is about to bring all the fishes to your rod if you're going deep out there in that sweet water. Get ready to receive it. Amen. Amen. Give Jesus some praise right now in the house of the Lord. And I know this word, I know this message helps somebody today, my brothers, my sister. Faith for that work is dead. Faith requires action. Get out of that bit of water and throw out there in that sweet of water. Because when you throw in that sweet of water, out of the mess, you can see things more clearer. 
you can understand things and, and God will start breaking down the vision to you piece by piece and you're like man not only do I have a frame but I also have a picture that's inside that frame amen and then God is good all the time and all the time God is good can you please pray with me Lord Jesus I ask of you to come into our life to guide us direct us use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you and I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus I was praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always put him first place. We're going to continue to pray for one another. We're going to continue to lift each other up. And please, my sister, my brother, please bring somebody to church. This has been a CLT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.